Chapter 12 The Breath of a New Hope Day and night I shall swim in the sweetness Hope River. Often we see hope as something delicate and sweet, a soothing feeling which is a balm to our minds. But hope is something solid and strong. Inside hope there is a concealed power, for today's hope eventually turns into tomorrow's actuality. If hope is just a mere wish, then your consciousness will not respond to it. But if it is something significant, like a vision that is trying to blossom inside your heart, your consciousness will be elevated. If it is real hope and not mere fantasy, then your consciousness flower will blossom petal by petal with its nourishment. Every day must come to you as a new hope, a new promise, a new aspiration. If you think that tomorrow will be just another day like all the days you have already seen, you will make no progress. Every day you have to energize yourself anew, for it is only with newness that you can succeed and transcend yourself. The Eternal Beginner Every seeker is a beginner. A beginner is one who has the inner urge to grow into something even more divine, ever more illumining and ever more fulfilling. The moment you want to make constant progress is the moment you become an eternal beginner. The dawn is the beginning of the new day. It symbolizes hope, illumination and perfection. Every day the dawn plays the role of a beginner. It begins its journey at daybreak and ends its journey in the infinite sun. If you can feel that your whole being, your body, vital, mind, heart and soul represents the ever-blossoming dawn, then you will always remain an eternal beginner. Every day we should feel that we have something new to accomplish. Every day we're advancing. You can transcend yourself only by discovering and maintaining your joy. If you discover your joy and maintain it, then you will always have the energy to go one more step. May my mind every morning become as beautiful as hope dawn rays. Hope and Expectation As hope is a power, so also is expectation. We expect many things from ourselves and from the world. Expecting good things has its justification. Unfortunately, expectation often tries to bargain with God. In the back of our minds, we expect that God will give us something just because we are praying and meditating. That kind of idea we must not cherish, for if our expectation is not fulfilled, we become frustrated, angry and destructive. Expectation is earthbound and limiting. We must eventually play our role without any expectation of personal gratification whatsoever. At that time, what will remain will be our sweetest hope. Hope is something sweet, divine and encouraging. When we hope for something, but we do not get it, we do not become angry or frustrated because inside hope there is a divine touch. We know that our hope of today envisions the reality of tomorrow and we can draw tremendous inner strength from this knowledge. Peace begins when expectation ends. The Mother of Action When we have human hope, the thing we are hoping for may or may not materialize. But when we have divine hope, there is an inner certainty that our hope will bear fruit and we are inspired to work for the result. Divine hope is like a dream which comes at the end of the night, bearing the promise that soon the day will dawn. Let us say that today I have the hope that tomorrow I will become a very sincere seeker. If it is just wishful thinking, when tomorrow dawns it will find me fast asleep. But if it is divine hope, then immediately I will be inspired to act. I will feel that merely thinking or hoping that I will become something is not enough. I will enter into the field of activity. In this case, hope is the mother of action. If we enter into activity, then we will get the fulfillment of our hope or the transformation of our hope into reality. Each sacred hope is a blessingful gift from heaven's heart. A burning hope flame. 
If you want to live on earth, then you must have hope. If on a particular day there is no hope, then on that day you are dead. Believe in hope, grow into hope, and breathe in at every moment the fragrance and beauty of hope. What can you do when you lose hope? You have to feel that your hope is bound to become a reality precisely because you're in the world of aspiration. You're aspiring most sincerely and most devotedly. You're doing the right thing. If the truth or the fulfillment that your hope has envisioned has not yet been able to manifest, do not worry. Only feel the necessity of burning the flame of your aspiration more brightly and more intensely. Hope abides, therefore I abide. Countless frustrations have not cowed me. I am still alive, vibrant with life. The black cloud will disappear. The morning sun will appear once again in all its supernal glory.